I'm going to tip it down into the crucible and you'll see that there is some liquid aluminum in there as well as the sh less shiny bits, that's the uh, slag, and I'm going to have to hopefully get that out with the um, graphite stir rod. I'm just going to try to scoop it all up. A little ball. And pull out the solid bits. And I'll that in there. Let that cool off. As soon as the slag comes off, it hardens immediately to the tongs. And uh, it's kind of hard to scrape off. Oop. Popped off a little bit there. Scoop it out. There you go. Just like that. I don't need to get everything quite yet. But the more you get out now, the less you'll have to get out later. getting pretty hot, even with the gloves. There. Now, most of that is pretty shiny now. So that's kind of what we're looking for. Let's just keep going. You can see the remnants of the soda cooking off on the lid there. That's LaCroix. Not even going to call that drinkable. That's my own biased opinion. Okay, I have a longer steel stir stick. I'm gonna start poking around, seeing if I can get some more slag. Oh yeah. Oop. Look at that. Just let the aluminum drip off. There we go. In to the bucket. Oh, look, it parted on there already. for more.
go. Okay. Time for round three with the slag. left is nice, shiny, liquid aluminum. All right. That looks pretty good. And we've got maybe a third of a uh, crucible filled up there. That's enough that I'm going to cast an ingot with it. There's the slag right there. Okay. So, I am going to go get some borax, and uh, that will act as a flux. It'll help bind to any remaining slag in there. And then what's left should be a higher purity aluminum. Had to go get a sacrificial spoon. I'm just gonna do a spoonful of borax. Right in there. Let's make that two. Okay, we'll get the stir stick. And stir that up a little bit. The borax is hardening as it bonds to the impurities. And there is our thing of borax. It's getting a little stringy and fibrous. Just did one little swirl in there and it picked up a lot more slag. And what's left is nice and shiny, which is a good sign. Now we have our ingot mold on the ground, on the concrete where it's not going to ignite. Hopefully I don't spill any and burn anything. But I have some specialty tongs to help with this. Move that sideways a little bit. And I'll pull this crucible out. should do this the other side so you can actually see it. There we go. Crucible comes back in. Get that nice and centered. And there we have to angle this thing. And there we have our ingot of aluminum. I'm going to set it aside, let that cool, and I'm going to continue to melt some cans, and that's essentially my process. Oh. I don't want it on there, that's just melting through. Oh. 
material. So I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what happened yesterday with the um, foundry setup. It was uh, kind of surprising to me because the thing that caught fire was actually the um, connector hose to the, um, the propane tank, which uh, I'm not exactly sure um, why it caught fire. Um, it didn't seem to be um, connected to or uh, touching any anything that was flammable. So it seems to me as though it um, caught fire from the inside, uh, which is a little bit concerning uh, for obvious reasons. Um, I'm going to show you exactly where this thing got charred. Yeah, it doesn't want to stay. There we go. So, I don't know if it heated from the inside and then ruptured. Um, I'm going to be taking a closer look at this, but um, essentially the, the flame subsided pretty substantially after I turned off the propane. It was just uh, the, the warning label and a uh, little paper on here burnt away and um, I was able to uh, put that out with just a, a very quick burst of the um, the fire extinguisher. So um, overall, uh, despite the open fire, uh, it was a pretty good success. Um, the ingot turned out pretty nice. It's just a small little bar here. Um, and um, I'm seeing maybe a little bit of slag in the little groove there, but that's um, I'm pretty happy with it overall. It's uh, 300 grams and is about 48 cents worth of aluminum from what I can tell. And uh, yeah, so I still have a lot of cans to um, melt down and I will be uh, working on a uh, less uh, flammable um, material because the uh, protective mat that I had burnt away in certain sections. Uh, if you put something hot on it, um, it didn't catch fire, but it did um, just melt, essentially. So I'm going to find some tile. Um, I just don't want to put it on the concrete itself because it could leave just a charred mark uh, on the ground. Um, I could potentially do it on the driveway. It's a little bit more gravelly and it will, um, it's not gonna leave just a, an outline like it would on just flat concrete. So uh, that's probably what I'll be doing in the future. And um, uh, I'll just continually be trying to up my safety for all of this. Uh, it could have been a lot worse, but um, it was out within maybe five seconds. <laughs>